distracted driving is now the leading cause of deaths on Ontario roads. But that fact doesn't seem to be changing the way people think about texting and driving. Fines have jumped to $280 recently, but the Ontario government thinks more needs to be done. In March, new legislation was put forward that would see fines increase to a maximum of $1,000 with three demerit points added to a driver's record. We think the higher fine is, is certainly a deterrent, but maybe more importantly, the demerit points uh, will have uh, a huge effect on people. Jerry Dion, the owner of Excel Driving School, says they teach students about the dangers of distracted driving. Each of the four days that they're in class. So they're, um, we really hammer the point that it's, it's distracted driving is dangerous. Fines and education are only part of the solution, but until distracted driving is thought of in the same light as issues like drinking and driving, police say behaviours won't change. It should be a, a social faux pas, it should not be accepted in society, just like it was decades ago in regards to impaired driving and also uh, not wearing your seatbelt. Not only are you putting yourself in danger, but you're risking the lives of others. People we spoke with seem to agree. Texting and driving is pretty reckless actually. I think it's extremely dangerous. People need to be focusing on their driving. I've been in the car with some friends and even though nothing happened, but we just like, he was texting and we just automatically started drifting off into the curb. It's not just even people checking their phones, like they'll like, not even, they don't even look at the road, they just completely text without thinking about it. The study also found that drinking and driving among Canadian youth is on the decline. Callie Warren, CKWS News Watch, Kingston.